today. But yeah, look, in terms of today's theme is very much around, as I said, around tokenized real estate. Um, um, it's uh, today, it doesn't matter what, what blockchain you come from in terms of what, where you're minting. This is very much a, a real estate um, focused um, uh, in terms of what's happening in, in a tokenized world, tokenized on the blockchain world of um, real estate. Um, probably just a sort of an overview for today. Um, sort of go into, I'll provide us a bit of an overview um, uh, in terms of well, the, going to the different top, different platforms that are tokenizing real estate. Um, uh, I mean, I can talk about a few other ones uh, in, in that. Um, uh, also, they invite us some service providers that are in, in the real estate, um, in the real, in the tokenized real estate world. So, um, uh, people like DigiShares and so forth. So, again, the, the invitation did go out and uh, that they couldn't make it, but I'll sort of briefly touch on that. Open up a QA and uh, do it. Then we go to a wrap and then we go into a concert. So, um, yeah, so look at, um, I, I guess, in terms of um, given that the thinner numbers in terms of tokenized real estate platforms, uh, I guess, um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm happy to go and sort of talk about our, our, our properties in terms of what we've done. And we, we're really excited that, um, you know, we, we announced our second property. So we've got a Brisbane property, which is a brick koala property. Um, and we've got a second property that we announced um, two days ago on the STM markets um, on, on the AMA. So we announced our property there, our brick dolphin, which is a Gold Coast property. So we, again, that's our second focus area. So we're going to be run the two areas simultaneously, the Brisbane and Gold Coast. Um, so it goes $2.6 million property US. Um, very similar, very similar to the brick koala property in terms of um, costs and so forth, number of tokens. Um, but yeah, so it's very much, uh, obviously it's got a beach theme. It's, uh, it's only around two kilometers from the beach. But um, yeah, so basically we continue to, on our journey in terms of tokenizing real estate uh, here in Australia in our focus areas. Um, and again, it's, uh, it's very much um, continue to the, the, the fundamentals in terms of what we're doing. And um, we, uh, again, this, this Brick Dolphin, it's the first one on the Ravencoin blockchain that we're doing. And, and, and it'll be all on the Ravencoin blockchain thereafter. Um, after obviously the experience we have with the first one with Koala and be able to pivot from away from Ethereum given the challenges there and um, and um, yeah so uh, and probably uh, probably I will announce um, here that um, as, as some of you know and, um, and if you don't know we, each each property token series that we do put up um, it's actually um, has uh, 12 NFT art pieces so we put we buy NFT art for the properties so we put you know, obviously inside the properties and um and our first um the, the brick wells got its 12 pieces um already um and uh, i'd like to announce the first one um for the brick dolphin is actually in the in the Bo's, um dolphin that um, she actually created then um we actually did have that one there so we officially make that um, the first um the first piece of art for the brick dolphin um the, the beautiful dolphin the miami dolphin that she done I mean, probably a month ago, a month and a half ago, wasn't it, India, that you done those dolphins? Um, which it's, um, it is quite relevant. It's not because of the dolphin, because Mermaid Beach, where the, dolphin, the brick dolphin property is, that's actually beside Miami. So that's the suburb of Miami. So you've got Mermaid Beach and Miami. So it's very much uh, <laughs> dolphin and Miami. So there's this, that theme there. So, <laughs> but yeah, thank you. Thank you, Indy, for that piece that uh, you created. And, and now we've actually got that as our first, our first official piece, art piece for a big dolphin. <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you. I, uh, we minted some from a marketing perspective. We minted some on NFTs of the dolphin. And there's um, about, um, and it's got embedded in terms of links to in, in um, the Gold Coast and, and what have you. And, um, and uh, Indy would have noticed we've actually embedded the, the, the dolphin, a picture of the dolphin within the NFT, which uh, if you guys like it, if you like, if you guys would like a, a, um, that NFT um, um, information, NFT on the Brick Dolphin, just, um, just DM me on Twitter and I'll, uh, your address, your Mango Farm address, and I can send you one of those as well. Um, so Indy was the first recipient of that one. Hasn't actually been shared to anybody else. I just wanted her to receive yesterday to get her thoughts on it first. And um, I've got a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. If you want one, definitely speak to Brick. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cindy. But yeah, look, in terms of, I think that's enough about us. Um, I guess like I said, there's no other platforms here that are tokenizing, but probably like to share, um, as I said, it's a big believer in rising boats, uh, rising tides raises all boats as uh, as as we all talk about and um, and, and believe in and, um, and I guess um, 
although uh, Sarah and Dan can't be here today from Hydra Chain, but I will I will sort of um, tell you know speak about their project. They got they're about to tokenize any day now. I think they're probably a month away. They're just sorting a couple of things out from uh, from the platform perspective with their with their property, and they've got some more lined up um, after that. So I think it's around a month um, that um, Sarah sort of gave us an update last month. So they're going to have their first property. The, the property's actually finished already. It's actually been rented already, and um, so they'll they'll be they'll be launching that for people to buy tokens in it, um, sort of in a month's time. Um, so just keep uh, keep a, a tabs on that, and um, and uh, and they've got a few already sort of following that down beyond um, the first one. So uh, again, it's taking a little, a little bit longer than than obviously they planned. Um, not not so much the build side of things. That I mean, there was some there was some hold ups there, but. Um, but more on the platform side of things, just to fine tune. Um, so obviously they're, they're also part of the DigiShares stables as we are. Um, so DigiShares obviously, they added the Ravencoin last, late last year to the to the platform to be able to, for us who are got our own platforms that they that we can use the token studios for the, the, the Ravencoin token studios to be able to mint and um, the, the properties on the um, on the Ravencoin chain. So uh, there is a few things they needed to sort out that um, was sort of obviously making sure everything was working and uh, nothing was going to break um, when it's when it launched. So um, yeah, so they 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 think they're about to launch soon. So follow them as well. Um, they're on Twitter there and um, follow their journey. Um, again, nice you know, great family in terms of what they're doing and um, and uh, again it's it's um, yeah, it's all, all about supporting each other in terms of what we're doing because. Um, as we know, the property space is such a massive property, global um, in terms of real estate value, that um, and we're so early tokenizing real estate. It's making sure that um, yeah we get out there, provide awareness to mainstream, bring mainstream in, bring people in cryptos for that matter, and and, and blockchain that um, aren't really aware of what's happening with uh, tokenized real estate. So again, it is the very much the new frontier f- to provide access to anybody to to real estate and. Um, and I think sometimes I was actually talking to somebody the other day, actually a couple of days ago, and just the just the realization that you know, I think this is still this barrier for people to believe that uh, you can actually buy property in another country. So I think just that whole you know, sort of concept, even if you're in blockchain, it's still it's still very much um, hard for people to understand that you can do it. Um, so I guess you know it's about spreading the word and. Um, and actually, I think it was Zan actually. Zan was talking to somebody the other day. He was telling me that yeah, just that concept issue by country, probably another country, is a, is a massive thing in terms of people's uh, you know what you can do that. So uh, again, it's um, yeah. That's how are Zan? You good? Yeah, I'm doing good. Um, you want me to share that analogy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so I'm walking around the convention and. Uh, Talking about Ravencoin, the difference between Ravencoin and Ethereum and the other EVM chains, and uh, basically, I would have a pin with uh, with a string on it, and I would give it to them. And as soon as I'd give them the pin, I'd pull the pull the string and pull the pin out of their hand, and I'd be like, "That's basically what can happen with a smart contract that's you know maliciously made." on Ethereum or another EVM type blockchain. And then I would give them a pin with no string and I would be like, all right, that's yours. And basically they were like, okay, so what's this? I said, that's Ravencoin. And they were just like, oh, wow. <laughs> and this guy was like, the, 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 this one in particular, he was a, uh, a, a developer Within, he would do contracts for um, called uh, Polygon, Matic, and Ethereum. He used to make the contracts. So even and he had a big Polygon shirt. And he had a hat with that had Ethereum on it, and he said he was a, a Ethereum maxi. So um, yeah, it was it was interesting to watch him. He's like, you know what? I need to really look into this Ravencoin you're talking about. Because uh, you really messed me up on that. It was pretty funny. And it's one of those things, if you don't know what you don't know, you just keep doing the same old. And I guess today's session was about to, you know, me obviously invited um, other pro- property tokenization platforms um, to come here and, and, and you know, share their journey, what they're, what they're doing. But 
at the same time as sort of hearing what we're doing on the block on the Ravencoin blockchain, what we've done, and obviously what um, yeah, um, yeah, Sarah and Dan, what they're doing, and so forth. Because I think um, like like we were, we didn't know about uh, Ravencoin blockchain last year. We only came because of the challenges come sort of no, in October, November last year. We had with Ethereum. We knew that wasn't going to be an option to continue um, sustainably on that blockchain. So. Um, um, so uh, again, it's yeah, it's it was about a it was a about to, to, trying to get exposure to people who who come on here to talk about it. They'll listen to the recording, obviously. Um, so it's about to to provide inform people who are actually doing now as well, um, tokenizing real estate to be able to say, well, Ravencoin might be actually something that we might need to pivot to because our platform is not sustainable. To be you know, to, to, well, say, well, not so much platform, but they're, they're, the chain that they're minting on might have issues that um, it's not going to be sustainable to continue on so again today's session is you know again understand what they're doing but also at the same time educating that there are alternative chains like ravencoin blockchain that might actually provide alternatives to what they're doing that um, becomes a, a solution to what the problem they might be having um, and the ones that are doing fantastic that that's great yeah but again it's a, it's a it's about providing that information and awareness and um and as i said for our just on that point, Xander, for us, you know, in terms of our Brick BC, our properties, we don't need smart contracts. Because at the end, of the, we don't need anything to be executed as far as, you know, things that you're putting in terms of program. Basically, as long as the, the information documents are on there, on the, on, the, on the blockchain in terms of the property, that's all we need. And obviously, the tokens, the ability to buy and sell tokens between uh, on, on the secondary market thereafter is all, all you need. So there's no ex executional ex instructions that are required, which I think would be very similar to a lot of um, tokenized real estate platforms uh, in terms of their needs. So again, some probably will need some, some in terms of their models might need some instructions and, and actions in terms of a smart contract. But again, not it sits everybody. I know just basically speaking out generally, uh, I don't think um, a lot of the platforms need the actual um, smart contracts as such. Um, Ravencoin, you know, blockchain ticks all the all the boxes in terms of the needs of uh, the tokenized real estate. Um, but yeah, but uh, yeah, it was interesting that uh, the experience you had with the and how you sort of um, you know were able to articulate it in that way to to, to that guy with the, with the smart contracts. <laughs> well, it was multiple people I, I i had to have at least done it to at least two dozen people that convention and they all were their eyes would get big and be like oh so you mean like with a you mean with a smart contract you can take my nft i'm like exactly that's exactly what i can do oh i don't like that <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, and i told them all yeah. can't do that on Ravy coin no way like i would just get all these like, uh, not, not only were they shocked, like that one developer, he was just, he, he, he didn't know what to say. He's like, oh man, I've been building contracts for this long. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. Like, wait a minute, you're a developer. You never thought of that, thought of it that way. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. Man. Yeah. But yeah, look, in terms of platforms, like I saw, um, I've sort of mentioned, and I mean, um, Jake, um, from Dwell Homes, um, he couldn't make it today, but he's, he's also got his properties coming up later on the year. Um, so Jake and, he, and his father, they obviously own Dwell Homes. They, they build, they, they, are, they are builders themselves. So they've got theirs coming up later on the year. So um, shout out to Jake. Um, I know there's been, there's been some challenges um, in the family um, with um, Jake's grandfather. So shout out to Jake, everything, hope everything's going well and everything's okay with your grandfather. Um, but yeah, so Jake's, um, so they're, they're tokenizing these later on this year. Um, but in terms of, um, uh, on, on the show that I host um, with Jake once a week on what is real estate tokenization, we've had various people from other, we've had Robin Land, they tokenize on a different platform. Um, we've had um, Balcony, they tokenize on a different platform. Uh, so there's quite a few different um, platforms, blockchains out there, but again, it's one of those things, you know, it's, um, you, you don't judge, you just provide awareness in terms of what Ravencoin is all about. And if it ticks the boxes for them, then um, it gives them that alternatives if they're not happy where, they, where they're at. So um, again, it's, um, uh, I think most of us here, we, we, we're not maxis. Uh, we're very much in terms of um, being open-minded and, uh, and obviously Ravencoin chain, we know what, what he can do um, from an asset tokenization perspective. 
So it's just a matter of um, yeah, just keep keep providing awareness, and people make up their mind what suits them. Um, I know I had this conversation with um, with um, Kyle, uh, although it's not real estate, but in terms of them uh, tokenizing their business, the SDM markets, and um, and uh, I know they use AVAX in terms they decide to use AVAX to tokenize their business on. And again, it's it suited them in terms of um, a crypto life crisis. How are you? Thanks for joining. Yeah, I was just sort of, I was just covering in terms of um, SDM markets and um, I was one of the spaces and uh, did ask Kyle about um, yeah what sort of made. I was sort of done the critical decisions that uh, made him um, tokenize on AVAX, and um, and he did say what what one one of those critical points that he did make was about the multi chain. Um, obviously, looking forward in terms of that multi the, um, the ability be, go between different chains um, for him, that was actually one of the critical points that they made about it. And and I know that's something that it is a talking point at the moment on the Ravencoin chain. And I've heard Tron Black talk about it and. LSJ and so forth about the topic about uh, multi chains in future, um, uh, the, the, the interoperability of the game between, between the different chains. So, again, look, yeah, as I said, that people have made their decisions based on what some you know, boxes they are trying to tick from their business model, um, whether it's uh, real estate or just asset tokenization in general. Um, and then they'll, uh, I think, just a matter of providing awareness in terms of what the the, the benefits are on, on Ravencoin chain. I know we made a decision and we didn't take that decision lightly because again, this you know, we, we're here for the long term and for us to switch from Ethereum to the Ravencoin chain to tokenize our assets, our, our real estate properties, um, was a big decision. Um, and given that you know, we want to do, you know, first year was 11 properties, second year 20 properties and 20 properties thereafter every year. So it was a massive decision because you don't want to be sort of go changing chains every time something is that something's not right or whatever the case may be so again having discussions with obviously with tron black and obviously you know hearing lsj's a very informative deep knowledge of ravencoin blockchain and and also other people who are very knowledgeable knowledgeable in terms of ravencoin so for us it was a massive decision when we did make that um, switch to through the ravencoin blockchain so hence where we are today um but yeah look in terms of uh so I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna go back to that uh, yeah. statement you talked about Raven Coin Maxi. That's exactly what I look like at that convention. I was wearing only a Raven Coin, you know, the one that says warning. Maybe start talking about Raven Coin that, and then big black and white letters. Yeah. <laughs> there's a Maxi. There's me, oh, and everybody God. knew it. It was so funny. I saw your post on that. I just I was laughing my head off when I saw your your shirt at the convention. <laughs> But 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 the thing is that the 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 the, the reality is to not obviously we're passionate about Ravencoin and so forth. But again, we uh, yes we're maxis but not maxi if that makes sense. We're not at the end though we're still open minded about other projects, what's happening, other things and other chains and so forth. We're still respectful of other chains, and I think that's the difference between I think our mentalities and some of the stuff I see on some of the other chains and. Uh, you know, if you're not part of it, they don't even want to talk to you. You know, that, that's just, I don't agree with that. You can be passionate about your chain and all the things, but I think you still got to be respectful for other people in terms of what they're doing. And I think that's, I think that's a big difference with us. Um, I'm going to say with us, the Ravencoin community, we're still respectful of other people, what they're doing in other chains um, in general. Um, but, uh, but yeah, but I do love that shirt, Zana. I was just laughing when I saw that. <laughs> And I guess you got. Um, I guess one thing to also to note is that um, we've also got service providers that are obviously building their businesses, like DigiShares, for example. And you've got obviously with the SDM with the SDM markers, you've got their, their SDO advising, um, where they're obviously advising clients in terms of tokenizing assets on on the on the chain. So again, we've got this obviously wave of advisors advisors coming on board that. Um, Obviously, we always, you know, we are not, that, not that we're biased, but you know, we are in terms of DigiShares. They are the global leaders when it comes to creating platforms and maintaining um, platforms to tokenize real estate on. Um, I mean, those just have to be real estate, it can be assets as well in terms of what they're doing. But again, the, you have this wave now of uh, people um, understanding that there's actually a massive opportunity to actually set up a business as service providers to service uh, what's happening in real estate tokenization. Um, and I know obviously LSJ, you as an example, you, you actually are the person who I actually, as a reference point when it comes to, um, you know, uh, get, uh, again, I've got a general general understanding, but I'm not, I'm not going to be there trying to um, you know, deep, talk about it in deep knowledge, because I haven't got the deep knowledge like uh, someone like LSJ. And, uh, and I know we, 
during the week, um, there was actually uh, a, a couple of gentlemen out of Brazil, um, and they're, they're looking at tokenizing agricultural land in Brazil. And, uh, and basically, I, they're just telling my journey, and I'm just trying to give some guidance in terms of what they should sort of be doing in, as part of the next few steps. And, um, and I said, look, I can introduce you to, if you, okay, we tokenize on the Ravencoin blockchain, if you are serious about what you're doing, and because um, they, they were they were looking at another chain, they were pretty much deep into another chain to go and do it on. But after I sort of spoke generally about the Ravencoin chain, what we've done, they're actually now thinking about, and they've seen the community as well, and they're now thinking actually that's not the way to go. They're going to look at the Ravencoin chain to 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 tokenize it on. Um, and I said, look, you know, to get a deep understanding, you need to have a chat with LSJ because um, there's no one better. Um, then LSJ to give you a deep understanding how the, the Ravencoin chain actually works. Um, so uh, I know LSJ, that's the, the two guys that I put you onto on Twitter that I connect you to. Um, so again, there's, there's a massive wave of um, service providers to come in and set up businesses because people are, people are looking and um, it's not just the first time. And, uh, there's been some other ones out of Europe as well that also that um, LSJ has spoken to that I put them onto and connected them. So. Again, there is, a, there is a big way when it comes to service providers coming on and actually um, really assist these, um, these businesses, um, yeah, businesses like ours and so forth, to be able to um, get that guidance um, because, again, we're so early and um, in terms of the whole um, tokenizing real estate that um, people need that sort of guidance. It's, it's a new world. Um, but that, that brings opportunities um, across the board. Um, and again, there's there's yeah so there's, there's a market. I mean, we we constantly approach from marketing people to you know to help us. So that's how that's all right. We've got we've got our marketing under control from our perspective. And uh, but again, that's what I mean. We all probably get handled by marketers. And not to be disrespect, disrespectful towards marketers, but um, you do get um, you do get um, approached um, numerous times um, uh, because obviously it's uh, yeah it's. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a frontier that uh, obviously they see a massive opportunity to get into um, some of these marketing businesses. Um, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, I thought, I thought I'd just uh, open it up. And again, it's, uh, I think I've spoken enough. Um, I, just open up the floor, Q&As or anything that uh, anybody wants to sort of um, raise about real estate, anything about us or other people that are tokenizing real estate or just general questions about real estate. Um, just open up the floor, yeah. Yeah, congratulations on the dolphin property. Thanks, Xander. Actually, just on that point, Xander, it, um, we actually haven't officially sent out the emails to our brick wallet token holders, but uh, I think most of you that are here uh, are brick, brick wallet token holders. So, what we actually, uh, well, we've, I, I did actually um, hint it, but, um, but I'll announce it here that. Um, that every brick koala token holder gets one brick um, dolphin um, token. So um, obviously we go live on the 29th of August with the brick dolphin, so people then buy. But straight off the bat, you'll, uh, you'll, uh, the ones that are brick koala token holders, you have the same holdings in brick dolphin as well. So I uh, hope you like that property. It's a fantastic, beautiful property, which um, it'll be completed in, uh, in Q1 next year, the property. So it's. Uh, the site's already been secured. Um, they're about to do so. They're about to do the demolition. There's an old home on the property, so there's a. Um, so Ali, who's the um, from Houseworks, who the who are the developers and builders of the property, they've actually about to start demolition of the old home on there. Um, so they have to start construction on the villas. So we, and again, it'd be also exciting to see the progress. So obviously, we'll be going out there to show the progress of the property um, as it gets built. So um, that the beauty about it is that because they are the builders and developers of the property, they control their own timeline. Um, so they're not just developers, they obviously, they're, they've got the builders, they control their trades. So for us, it gives a, you know, from a control perspective, it gives a much more uh, control of the timeline as the, as the property obviously starts um, you know, being constructed. So um, yeah, so it's really exciting, really exciting about, um, yeah. It's not that we have, we've forgotten about the big koala, but it's very much having the two locations going simultaneously. Um, uh, some people like, like the sort of life, that, that beach sort of lifestyle, look for an investment property, which obviously the Brick Dolphin has, whereas the Brisbane property is more of a city, of a city feel to it. So again, and you can have, you can have both, you can have both. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, uh, so I'll, um, yeah, we'll be, we're sending out the formal um, email to all Brick Wild token holders to let them advise on that. So, but that's actually, you know, what's happening. Um, 
but um, yeah, so again, I'll, I'll open up the floor. But yeah, Zandit, um, yeah, thank you for those um, nice words about the about the big dolphin. So we put a few things out there in terms of pictures and so forth. Over the next few days, they'll be on the website. There'll be the final details of it on the web, on our website, which will have some of the plans of the property and um, uh, some more sort of photos around it and around the area and so forth. Um, so yeah, so probably next the next probably next week I'll actually go out there and actually walk the street. Um, or, or do my brick walk around the, the brick dolphin to show you, well, it's, it's an old home obviously <laughs> it, won't, it won't be much it probably, it's probably starting to be demolished by, by the time I get there next week so um, but yeah that's no, pretty exciting pretty exciting um, but again like I said this is an open floor um, any questions and any points and, um, but yeah please hey, well, I have a quick question yeah. um, heard you the other day on the security tokens market I think it is right security token market SPM yeah. Yes, the, the blue, uh, not the blue, the green yes. and gray kind of logo. Um, and I, I, to be honest, I was shocked. I didn't realize how that there was this other group of people that are also very much into real estate tokenization. I'm just curious, what chains are they on? I was driving and maybe I missed it, but I'm sure you probably know. Yes. Help me out. So STM Markets, they're very much a marketing uh, business. So Kyle and Herwig. They started that around four years ago, literally just like just doing just the, just the two of them doing YouTube videos, trying to educate people what um, asset tokenization is all about. Um, so obviously, which, which encompasses real estate. So they they built that um, from just the two of them four years ago to, and when we started our journey, um, you know, you know well, when I started going down the rabbit hole, finding out whether blockchain could provide a solution to you know, the problem that um, of um, of traditional real estate. Um, they're actually one of the key platforms that I use to research what asset tokenization was all about around two and a half years ago. Um, so, and when we when we started at the journey and last year when I laid out the, the, the five year plan for the business for Brick BC projects, and then looking at the the marketing strategy, um, our marketing strategy was very much um, we wanted to be on their show. We saw them as the leaders in uh, what was happening tokenized um, well asset tokenization and specifically our real estate tokenization. So we actually highlighted them as a goal we'd like to, to achieve, to get on their show, to expose what we're doing. And so we built the relationship with them over the, over the last, obviously last 12 months in particular. Um, so basically they just, ed, STM Market is an, edu, is an educator platform. So their YouTube channel, they educate people what, um, and keep people up to date what's happening with all different projects, um, tokenized, as, tokenized assets, whether it be real estate, whether it be businesses that have tokenized. So they're very much an educator, um, especially their YouTube channels that they educate through. Um, obviously, they all, all also have their socials, but particularly around the YouTube channel that they that they put out one. Well, the, the show goes on once a, once a week. That Kyle and Herbert does to update people in terms of different projects. Um, they then decided to you know rather than actually just talking about it, they decided to tokenize their own business as well. So they launched um, last month. They launched the tokenization of their business so people can buy. Through the crowdfunding methodology, block um, um, in terms of you know what, what they, they do call it crowdfunding because it's the obviously got different regulations and so forth. There's, so there's actually crowdfunding. So it is very yeah, people can buy tokens on the blockchain on their business STM business. So um, so yeah, so they, they decided to use um, Avax as the chain to tokenize their business on, and as I said for their, for their reasons what they had um, as to why they used um, Avax to tokenize on, but. Um, but yeah, so basically they're, 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 they're very much an educator. They've got a few arms to their business. They've also, uh, I mean, only the, the marketing, the SDM marketing is, is being, in, it was actually um, tokenized because they've got other businesses under their umbrella that is not part of the um, tokenized um, business that, they, that they've not tokenized. Um, they've got an advising arm, SDI advising to their, to their, to their branding. Um, so again, they obviously educate people in terms. Well, they educate, but also provide guidance on a consultancy basis. What you know, what they got to do, and what um, from a legal perspective, who they should be seeing to address some of the legal issues um, with their regs and so forth. So yeah, so they're very much uh, their their primary thing is educators. Um, and and again, for us, we're you know quite um, fortunate and very honoured to be asked um, as the first community member to be. Um, to be featured, so there was three of us last week, um, last Friday, um, that were featured. Um, we were the, we were the, we got the number one tag, as um, so again we were very honoured to be asked, and and uh, we got to talk on the AMA last Friday, so that recording is going to be going up by then. I think they're putting it up soon, 
uh, the next few days. Um, uh, I believe we're also going to be um, on the, on the uh, Monday, so Monday US um, show, where they're going to also be talking about us. So when Kyle and Herwig do their weekly show on YouTube, they're going to be actually talking about us um, this Monday, so from the AMA content. Um, so again, they're, they're, they're fantastic what they're doing, providing, you know, bringing mainstream to the blockchain in terms of asset tokenization. So again, we're... Like I said, we're very honoured to, to be asked and to be involved and be, be engaged with their community. And um, they have got a huge following uh, around the world. Uh, and as I said, they were the first point of contact when we started researching what um, blockchain was all about and asset tokenization in particular. Yeah. So look out for Monday. Monday YouTube, um, STM Markets on YouTube. The, the, the drop that they're doing, their the video, and uh, they'll be talking about us on there. Yeah. Yeah, just continue the, the open floor. Um, for any questions? LSJ, you think mm -hmm. you, 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 sorry, go on, go on, please go on. When Lambo. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Rick, you gonna ask a question? Yeah, please go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was going to say, um, I mean, from from your perspective, I'm um, I mean, obviously, you know, in terms of uh, the angels that you that you that you do and uh, helping out. I think that's going to be an area where you you are, you are going to constantly be be in demand because uh, again, from my perspective, uh, you are always my first point of contact if I'm talking about to people about block um, Ravencoin blockchain and what they what they need to do and get the deep understanding. And, and I know sometimes. Some of them, those things might not actually eventuate to anything from in terms of from your perspective, um, but hopefully at least um, one will actually stick, and hopefully that uh, that means something for you financially as well, in terms of advising, because uh, again that's an area that um, again that don't take for granted your knowledge because you, you've got um, this uh, deep knowledge of the Ravencoin, and 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 for you that's um, yeah, it can be quite fruitful from from a financial perspective in the future. Uh, to be able to help people on, on their journey and and uh, and some of these platforms that you know they they've got budgets some um, yeah in terms of what they're doing so that that be that be shy to actually um, you know get rewarded financially in terms of what you're doing because don't don't take for granted your knowledge mate because sometimes in our respective spaces we sort of take for granted what we know and our deep knowledge um, but that's also that's an IP that um, nobody has. And uh, I think just um, okay. I'm not, I'm not telling you how to suck eggs, mate. But um, I, th I guess the point is there. Don't um, yeah. That don't take for granted your your knowledge um, and your IP. Um, make sure you get rewarded for that at, at the same time. Yeah. yeah no worries. Thank you. Um, the stuff that we've been seeing come through for Raven Angels and things has been really really interesting. And um, can't talk about all of it, obviously, but. There's, there's people that are obviously interested in tokenization and options and how to do it. And, and Ravencoin is obviously a great option. <laughs> um, but it's like people have different needs. So it's, it's like the example we used the other day with the toolboxes. Um, Ravencoin has got an awesome toolbox to, to easily tokenize anything. Um, but some people don't need that. They want something that's loads more complicated. And three security tokens, sorry, smart contracts, could be the right solution. But at the same time, because everything's centralized, sometimes you're better off just writing a program to do what you want it to do. And you don't necessarily need it to run on a distributed ledger. So Ravencoin can still work from that point of view. But it's, yeah, it's just people have got different ideas. And it's just blaming what's possible as clearly and easily as possible. I love that illustration <laughs> of the pin and the string um, because it's straightforward. Everyone gets it straight away. So that was that was really good. I'm going to use that. <laughs> that was fantastic, wasn't it? Uh, Alex, so while you've got the floor, uh, again, just um, assume I'm somebody that, um, that I've come in here because obviously it's been recorded. So just assume that I'm coming, I'm, I'm here and I'm... I'm I've been tokenizing on a specific platform or I'm actually looking at tokenizing on a platform and I want to know why should I use Ravencoin blockchain to tokenize my real estate properties on, um, take it away. 
Oh, to speak. Not, not, not to put you on the spot, mate. Not to put you on the spot. But you, Alec can always say it very, in very simple terms as to you know the, the fundamentals of um, of why why should I um, tokenize on the Ravencoin blockchain? So, with tokenization, um, what people are are looking for is is a way to represent value and then um, transfer it between each other safely. Um, to transfer that ownership. Um, what has been really common up to now is in the tokenization space, um, people have been using smart contracts to do tokenization. And there's a couple of issues with that, a couple of good things and a couple of bad things. Um, some of the, the bad things uh, on, or things that people well, should be aware of, but aren't necessarily upfront, uh, or that um, the way smart contracts are structured from a structural point of view, um, the way they're constructed is the smart contract addresses uh, run the code for the smart contract and they contain tokens. So those tokens can never be moved to any other address. And that is not something that smart contract chains make clear because uh, it doesn't suit them. Um, what it, it does allow is it allows smart contracts to manipulate the tokens in the smart contract and transfer them easily because they're all in the same address and they make it really straightforward uh, to automate processes uh, to automate systems uh, and it's really good for that so it's doing what it was designed to do but from an ownership point of view smart contract owns the tokens uh, it's not something you could ever get sent to your di address directly and hold personally with your own private keys. Um, the way smart contracts actually arrange it is they give you, uh, they allow you to put a, a reference next to the token, the, the, and that reference would be your blockchain address. So that could then change if you transfer ownership in the future, make a sell the token, um, but you can never actually truly own that token in your address. So it, it really comes down to what people view as as ownership and um, playing it as clearly and easily as possible. So in Ravencoin, what happens is when a token is made or issued by someone, uh, it's held in one address, everything, and then that token can get sent to people's addresses directly so it's not in a smart contract being allocated that way it's actually something that people can hold much like that pin that Xander so I spoke about um, there's no string to kind of smart contracts people who run that and look after it can decide that no you shouldn't have that token anymore and give it to someone else or themselves um, so there's no risk of that or there's much less risk of that um, and yeah, so it's explaining some, some fundamental concepts that people who walk into tokenization don't necessarily see straight away because it's not plain. <laughs> it's not clearly laid out. The differences between um, smart contract tokens and um, Bitcoin-like tokens. Um, I try to avoid fancy phrases and stuff now, but it's, yeah. It's, it's 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 quite difficult to put it in plain English, but yeah, work in progress. And little illustrations like uh, the pin and the string that you can pass to someone, and then um, the person who's on the other end of the string can just yank it to themselves. Um, that's the person who issued the smart contract in it. At any time when they choose, they could upgrade that smart contract, update it, get their tokens back, or, or send them to someone else. They control it. Um, but with Ravencoin, it's different. If you give somebody something, 
and you send it to their address, that person controls that, they own that token. Um, Ravencoin is special because it also allows some, some other things, some special tokens that can enable more illegal compliance. Um, but that's, I tend to go into that in more detail with people with specific use cases, just because it makes sense for who have those use cases because that's what they're concerned about and they need to know how they can get that compliance. Generally, um, people don't need to know that, but they do need to know that as a general rule on Ravencoin, things that get sent to your address, they can't be removed. No issuer can take them from you. Uh, the very worst thing that an issuer can do to someone is freeze their tokens. Uh, and that's done by people, um, by special tokens and special tags that are made very clear uh, when they're created. And you know very well that you've got a restricted asset because it would be very clearly laid out in the agreement of what you were getting when you got into whatever agreement it was with the issuer. So whether it's some property that is only for accredited investors, then use the, um, it's called restricted assets and tags. You could use them. So going from Sanders pin analogy, it's um, Ravencoin, it's like giving people a pin, but with strict restricted assets, um, those people, they also get a tag, they get a little name badge, and only people with th that name badge can have a pin. Um, that's the rules of the token. So if you've got a pin, have a token. Um, and so it's really simple rules and analogies that help to explain what Ravencoin can do, um, but also allow people to trust that they've got really good ownership, that their tokens just can't get taken away from them um, like they can do, potentially with smart contracts that are potentially bad actors that are trying to take their value away from normal people, which is it's really sad and horrible to say that that's really common on smart contract chains or stealing value from other people, which is really sad, but it's in a way positive because it exposes better solution if people care to look for it. So yeah, I'll stop waffling there, but yeah. <laughs> no, it's always great, Dallas Jay. It always, you know, it always makes sense. And a deep knowledge around Ravencoin, uh, that, that makes total sense, mate. Uh, again, that's fantastic. Again, just, it's always good to hear from you, especially with people that are looking and planning to tokenize real estate or basically looking for alternatives that um, things haven't happened, haven't actually worked out what they thought it was going to be in terms of where they tokenize. So to hear you talk about it, it makes a lot of sense to put, again, just gives that people that sort of very generic, general overview, and uh, but uh, with a deep understanding at the same time from your perspective. Yeah, no, I really appreciate that, mate. Really good, really good. And um, yeah, it's, it's um, and again, it's 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 a matter of um, because we're such a young chain, Ravencoin chain, is uh, is that awareness? Because um, you know, there's there's some, it's it's one of those, as I said earlier, it's one of those things. If you don't know what you don't know, you keep doing the same thing unless until you're actually exposed to um, a Ravencoin chain and see what it can be. Um, that's when you start questioning your own chain in terms of all, all planning. Or whatever you've been planning for and seeing this as actually the solution to what you're trying to achieve so yeah really appreciate you giving that deep understanding about real down the game this um people that listen to this recording um hopeful that um you'll get, get now a sense and if you want to know more lsj is a person to reach out to to find out more in deeper to if you're looking at um using the raven coin chain tokenized real estate on so that yeah, really again really appreciate that yeah um but yeah, look at um, again if, uh, if there's now none of the questions, we get to sort of um, we clicked over the hour. Um, so if there's no other questions, if uh, please if, if there is, please um, put um, yeah come up and um, and, and talk. And um, otherwise, we'll um, start sort of the wrap to to move to the our fantastic um, concert by SOS. Um, um, any questions before I sort of give the mic to SOS to so sort of give us a bit of a, a round of a, a, a brief in terms of what he's about to deliver to us in the in these fantastic um, 
on stage concept. Um, any anything else? I know Indy and Alice J. They're they 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 are getting excited. They're about to start dancing and uh, they're, they're getting a bit twitchy there. I can see. Um, <laughs> I hope that there's no other questions. Uh, I hand it over to you, SOS. All right. Thank you, as always. Um, if I may, just real quick before we get started, because once I get uh, once I get on camera and for real, I start getting nervous and I don't explain <laughs> things that I'm supposed to. So I'll try to make it quick. Um, please visit booth C34 over in the Expo Hall most Friday nights at around 10, at, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern time. I post new videos and um, they'll be available until I post the next one. So it's kind of like a movie theater playing one thing at a time. Um, I always post updates about that on whatsupraven.com. Uh, that's that's Morgan's awesome site. Hopefully she's back next week and there'll be some updates so you can check it out there. Um, I basically will work with anyone to write and record theme songs for your projects. So, you know, reach out. Um, I prefer to trade this for like NFTs or artwork or whatever, but I will be more than happy to lend a hand for free if you don't have anything to trade. Um, that kind of stems from my early experiences with Ricky over at NFT, I'm sorry, at, at rvnft.art. And, um, you know, of course, the nuns that I know in real life, I just try to give back to the community and kind of help people. So please feel free to reach out if you want a theme song. Um, yeah, so if you guys will like to join me over in the concert area, we can we can dance and sing and it should be some fun. I just want to point out real quick, I posted a sea skull, I believe it's number 39. It's the chocolate skull that you'll see, that's by Zebradif. And um, you'll see my goodness, birds of a feather on the right screen. That's of course by LSJ. And thank you, since you're here. Um, I love that thing. And I'm definitely never selling it, even though it's worth a lot of Raven coin now. Um, anyway, so if you guys would like to join me, uh, I would appreciate it. And if not, please consider checking out my playlist, my music, or just reaching out and, uh, you know, yeah, theme songs. <laughs> I'm your <Thanks>. guy. <laughs> Thanks, SOS. Really Thanks, appreciate. Okay, just uh, really appreciate you. You know, putting all this together. I mean, you, you do behind the scenes. You put a lot, a lot of time to for the music for each each month. And again, really appreciate. We're for, we're so fortunate to have you involved in providing us with this fantastic music and obviously the NFTs you do and and, and you know the, the kindness in terms of that you show the, to the community in general. So really appreciate it. And uh, really also appreciate everybody to come along today and. Um, Again, share share what's happening, especially around real estate tokenization, and obviously Ravencoin in terms of what we're doing on Ravencoin as well as a community. But uh, share in terms of what's happening in real estate, the new frontier of real estate, and um, yeah, let's go enjoy SOS's music. Thank you.